early recognition of pericardial effusion allowing prompt pericardial aspiration which is life saving in cardiac tamponade one of the important roles of echocardiography right from the beginning that was because it was easy to recognize pericardial effusion as an echo free space around the heart there is good contrast between myocardial tissue and surrounding pericardial effusion because fluid is echo lucent even before other roles for echocardiography like assessment of myocardial function valve heart disease everything was established detection of pericardial effusion was taken care of this shows pericardial effusion all around the heart and in a live image you can detect evidence of pericardial tamponade in echocardiography when the pericardial pressure rises right sided chambers right ventricle and right atrium which have thinner walls and lesser intracavitary pressure collapse in diastole this cause impedance of diastolic filling of the right atrium and right ventricle in systole when the heart contracts there is more space within the pericardial cavity and this goes back to previous position the amount of fluid required for producing cardiac tamponade depends on the rapidity with which the fluid is accumulating in an acute tamponade like due to trauma causing hemopericardium it can rapidly cause cardiac tamponade even in a short period of time with as little as 50 to 100 ml of pericardial fluid that's because the pericardium does not get time to stretch and accommodate the extra volume within the pericardial space on the other hand in chronic effusions like tuberculous pericardial effusion that can be different there can be large amount of pericardial effusion and still no tamponade tamponade is most commonly due to malignant pericardial effusion which is often hemorrhagic as